Back in high school, do you remember reading the adventures of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Maybe in your English class you discussed the duality of man. Well, a duality of halves for Syracuse women's lacrosse would have rewritten the entire novel. It was 7-7 entering the break, and then a 9-0 scoring run for the Orange, seven of which coming in the second period, helped lift the number two Orange, 17-10 over Virginia Tech. Slow start to, to the game today. I think you know, two weeks off is a, a long time not to compete and be out there playing. And sometimes you lose a little rhythm and a little flow. And, you know, we had some unforced errors. Um, seemed like one after another there in the first half. But, um, again, when it halftime came out and put a solid second half together. You know, the second half, we, we changed up the defense a little bit and went with more of a, a less pressure, protect the middle a little bit more. And I thought, um, you know, we, we improved with that a little bit. Um, you know, something we've been working on for a while now, and it, it was a better effort today. We knew that that first half wasn't Syracuse lacrosse. It's not what we're about. And then taking that type of energy of like, we're better than this, we know we're better than this, and then proving it to each, uh, to each other. The second half was simply Syracuse lacrosse, and you cannot bring up this team without talking about the Meg Show. Megan Carney and Megan Tyrell each scored five goals tonight. Next up for the Orange is a game that's been circled on the calendar ever since the season began. The number two Orange will meet up with the number one Tar Heels of North Carolina next Saturday at 11 a.m. Reporting live for the Dome for Citrus TV, I'm Joe Puccio.